The next item that I want to talk about is strength. Now, I've heard some SIP um, sales individuals or people connected with SIP sales talk about strength. And this is where you get onto a slippery slope when you start suggesting that SIPs are two times or 10 times or 20 times stronger than conventional framing. From an engineering standpoint, being stronger really depends upon what are we talking about? Are we talking about a connection detail? Are we talking about transverse loading? Are we talking about racking strength and uplift and things like that? There's a hundred, if not a thousand different connection details and points that we could look at that might have a difference in terms of strength. The reality is is SIPs tend to be quite a bit stronger than stick framing. They tend to be stronger because they work as a thin wall. They held, are held together much tighter. They're not a whole bunch of little pieces nailed together like they, you do with stick framing. Some of the real world situations that have um, been exposed to SIP structures include mother nature at her best with things like tornadoes, hurricanes, and earthquakes. And SIP structures that have been in these areas have actually proven and shown that the strength of a SIP structure performs actually quite well. In one area with a, SIP on, a full SIP envelope in a structure that was in Tennessee, it was exposed to a tornado, which literally almost lifted the house off of its foundation. And that picture of that house is on your left. The foundation imploded and crumbled under the pressures of the tornado, and the house, virtually fully intact, resettled itself down and was unharmed. Now, this is a function of the entire SIP package working together to hold it together and overcome some of those uh, forces being applied by the weather that is a tornado. It's some extreme weather. It has the strength to overcome a lot of these forces which stick framing can't hold up to. The picture on the right is a picture of what Kobe, Japan looked like after an earthquake went through years ago. It was interesting to note that there were several SIP structures in Kobe, Japan during this earthquake. It was even more interesting to note that most of these SIP structures sustained virtually little to no damage other than occasional drywall crack and again foundations that failed and forced us to jack the houses back up and resituate them into a position where they could be used again. It's these types of things that prove that SIPs are a very strong building component that can overcome a lot of circumstances.